So ever since we got the Google Tech Pride update, it has just been a disaster. And I'm gonna talk about what I mean by that. Before I start, I'm just gonna say I do not support this, but that does not mean that I look down on people who does. So yeah, ever since we got the Google Tech Pride update, the Google Tech Playground that just dropped magnificent. Not just that, but if you go into a public lobby, you're definitely gonna hear some homophobic slurs or something like that. No one was expecting a Pride update to come to Google Tag, but I guess we were wrong. I mean, everybody thought we were gonna get it. A revamp or a summer update or something like that but instead we got the pride update i'm pretty sure the reason to why that is because we've never seen something like this in google tag ever before now the impact this update right here has had on google tag is both positive and negative but mostly negative why positive may i simply because i think we're gonna get uh, new players into google tag but we're definitely gonna be losing some people simply because either their parent doesn't allow them because we got you know pride update and they're way too young for this or because they just do not support it at all. We will see what happens next Friday when we're gonna get a new update. Now a lot of people have been talking about why Gorilla Tag is promoting this to kids and honestly I'm not quite sure about that as mostly Gorilla Tag players are under the age of 18 including me or I mean 13 under even though Gorilla Tag it has an age limit of 13 plus. Now I know Pride and Love this should not be promoted to kids especially under the age of 13 but why do does Google Tag do it then? Good question, I think it is because they want to include more people. I personally think that kids should definitely not be promoted to Pride at all, especially under the age of 13. That is simply because when you're a kid, you should do other stuff than thinking about what gender you are and go out and have friends with your friend instead. But also, our brains are not fully, completely grown until we're 25 years old. Now Santa, are you a Christian? Well, yes I am. And in the Bible, it says in Romans 1, 26 to 27, it says, Wars followed, refusing to know God. They soon didn't know how to be humans either. Women didn't know how to be women. Men didn't know how to be men. Sexually confused, they abused and defiled one another. Women with women and men with men. All less, no love. And then they paid for it. Oh, how they paid for it? Emphatized of God and love. Godless and loveless wretches. Now keep in mind, this is just my opinion. I do not look down on people who does support it. And honestly, I think this update right here is not that bad. I mean, we got so many cool stuff like this. Big trampoline park right behind me here. And also, let's not forget the new friend mode where you can like go like this like towards somebody else. And then you become friends with them. And then you can get into lobbies with them and stuff. But right now, I'm just gonna go into public lobbies and ask people what they think about this update. So Wyatt, what do you think about this update? Do you like it or do you not? I mean, like, it's a maybe, kind of. Maybe? Why is like, that? Um, like, the obstacles are good and all, but like, well, I do like the bouncy uh, houses yeah, and the balloons, but the, the fact that you can't <laughs> jump on the bouncy houses is like, just like, eh. Uh. So what do you think about the Pride update? Um, it's a 4 out of 10, it's mid, um, because the obstacle courses, I've got the 4 out of 10, because they're like, they're quite fun, sometimes you can have fun in it, but like the Pride update, I don't like it overall. Why do you not like it? Um, all the gainers. Alright, fair, fair enough, fair enough. So what's your opinion on the Pride update? Don't like it. You don't like it, why is that? I don't like gays, sorry, I don't like them. What? Oh, you What's your opinion on the um, Pride update? I like it, but because I'm a part of the Skittle squad, oh. but they did a little too much with some of the cosmetics and the, what they did to some of the maps. I think they did. They went a little overboard, especially with the fur and stuff. But overall, it's it's chill. He had a good point though about the cosmetic that they went a little bit too much on them, especially this fur suit right here that he mentioned. I mean, if you take a look at the cosmetics, they're all relatable to LGBTQ players. He even added this patches right here that stands for your pronouns if you're a he, she, or a they. But please tell me your opinion in the comments. But anyways, I love you guys. Click on the video right here if you want to see another banger from me. And yeah, anyways, I gotta go now. So, bye.